Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and this is Utoxin Plays Minecraft. And this is one of my relatives. This is Mr. BPNC. He's one of my oldest fans on YouTube. Say hello, BPNC. He's a little bit slow. He's a little bit of a slow typist. He is. I don't remember how old he is. I'm sure he'll tell me. Um, <laughs> if, if I get it wrong, he'll let me know. Uh, I believe he's six or seven, but uh, he's a great kid. He's one of my uh, cousins. Um, and uh, yeah, he is now on the server. <laughs> so yeah, he's hanging out today. Um, and uh, he'll be exploring and just having fun. So today we have a big project. Now on to building. I'll be pretty busy. Okay. Okay. So, I have a big building project. We are going to go over here. Through here. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Over here. And let me turn my gravitation engine back on. So, this is our project for the day. This is the template for my fusion reactor. Yes, I am going to get one built before we end up doing a server reset. Um, so this is what I've templated out. I've built a couple things already just to get them out of the way. Uh, I've got my water tanks. Yeah, you can come hang out in the Nexus. Okay, so yeah, I've got my water tanks because I'll need them. Uh, and then I've just laid the rest out, uh, figured out where I want things. Uh, still got tons of wiring I'm going to have to run. I've got, I think, all of the machines built. So we're going to get down to business. Let me explain, actually, first my plan here. So this is the fusion reactor, obviously. Um, and I'm going to be running the deuterium-tritium reaction, which I will store my reserves in these tanks here. Um, tritium will be on this side, I believe. Yes, this is tritium. So this is the centrifuges that will generate the tritium uh, that will be stored in that tank and then fed into the reactor. This is my deuterium storage tank. Um, where is he? Uh, let, me, let me go show him. There he is. <laughs> Let me, let me just pop him over here. I'll, br I'll bring him over here so he can look around in this area. Let me get down on the ground. Um, I rescued him earlier, so I should have... There you are. Okay, so back to, back to explaining. This is my deuterium tank. So this, these are the centrifuges that will actually fill that. Then back here... These are more centrifuges that will generate the uh, deuterium that these centrifuges will turn into tritium. <laughs> and these deuterium centrifuges and these deuterium centrifuges will get all of their hydrogen cells from some electrolyzers back here. And the, those electrolyzers, of course, will get their water from these two tanks. Uh, I have uh, I have a jetpack. That's how I fly. Um, and then all of these machines will actually get their power from some ultimate hybrid solar panels that I will have back here. If I've done my math right, ten ultimate hybrids should be enough to power all of these machines. Um, most of them are low voltage, which is the only reason. Um, so... Let's go ahead and get started. I've marked out like the power requirements of different areas here. So we're going to break this area down. And I have in my inventory industrial electrolyzers. So these guys go here, like so. Then break down this line. And it's going to be just like this. Okay. Whoop. Oh, shoot. Uh, where's my wrench? 
There's my wrench. There we go. Disaster averted. Okay. So there's that line. And where is my... There's my paved stone bricks. There we go. So these go here, like so. Mr. VPNC is wandering around having fun. Um, I gave him some long fall boots so he doesn't take fall damage if he happens to fall somewhere. Uh, he, luckily enough, because he fell to the bottom of my base at one point down by my uh, steam system. Um, so there's that. That is the basic setup for my electrolyzers. So now I need to get them some power and some water. I'm trying to remember, I think, let's see, can you, do you put water? I think you can put water in from the bottom, so we're going to try that first. Let me go grab, I forgot to get my liquiducts that I cooked up. So we're going to go do that. Pop through. Hope I don't crash. <laughs> uh, liquiducts. Yeah, I've got a few liquiducts. Let's grab those. Okay. Back through. And back over this way. So, I'm going to need to drop down below. I forget, do I have a way downstairs right now? I don't think I do. Alright, well, we'll just make one. That's why I have awesome tools. Okay. So, there we are. I need... Let's see, where do I want to run this up? I'm going to run it into the bottom of one of these. Right there. Let's do this. Oop. So that can connect right there. Um, this is going to come up like so, straight up to the roof, then run over this way. Then, let's see, over to here, here, and here. Then this... Oh, shoot. Did I forget a lever? Uh, all right. I'm, I want to spawn in a lever. I don't want to run all the way back to my base. Sorry, a switch. Or, no, lever. I just spelled lever wrong. Wow. Spawn in a lever. Because uh, I don't want to run all the way back to my base just for that. So there we go. Oh! Did someone give him something that could help him fly? <laughs> Uh, they run out of power. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks, user. Oh, that's awesome. Being good to my cousin. I appreciate it. Okay. So let's put a switch here. There we go. Now, is that going to... Yes. That is supplying water to there. So that is what we want to do. Um, so now I need to drop down, do that, that. I think it's right click that does the slower mode on these. I don't remember. Okay, where is the end? There it is, okay. And there's my pavestone bricks. So plug that back in. So, oop, <laughs> I heard him hit the ground pretty hard. Okay, let's see. So, I need to close that off. Oh! Did you take off your boots? <laughs> he must have taken off his boots. <laughs> uh... Let's get him back over here. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. 
That's odd. They shouldn't ever take damage if they've got the longfall boots on. You know, user? I wonder if longfall boots are broken. Looks like they're working now. Okay, so I need to go back to this. We are now going to... Okay, I need to open along there. Okay, and there is the end. So, yep, like that. Okay. Okay, along here, like so, and then along here. This is all 32 electrolyzers. Um, yep, okay. So there are the electrolyzers with access to them. So now I just need to wire up and get the liquid ducts hooked up to them. So like so, and so, and so, just all along here, like this. And I'll supply this, these two out of that tank and those two lines out of that tank over there. Um, and I need to do like so. Like so, and like so. There we go. Yeah, like that. That wires all of those up. So now let's bring this over here and connect it to all of these ones. You can see basically what I'm doing here. Um, then across like so, and like that. There we go. That hooks those up, and all of those electrolyzers. Okay, yep, slowly filling up. Hopefully that's fast enough. That is actually going kind of slow. Hmm, I might need to throw some more valves on there. Because that is actually coming out quite slow. Anyway. I can easily do that. Let me get this side piped up. Um, I'm going to go off camera for just a minute while I get this taken care of. Uh, I'll be back with you guys when I'm ready for the next step. Okay, we're back. So, I've got the water hooked up. Uh, I went ahead and added two extra valves um, on each of these tanks, and my cousin is having a hard time with his uh, jetpack and damage. Those Longfall boots aren't doing their job, so we're not sure what's going on. Um, so yeah, maybe flight's not a good idea for him right now. Um, I, I'm sorry, Benjamin. I don't know why that's not working for you. Um, so anyway, I've got all the water hooked up. Um, and I'm about to start hooking up power, or at least the lines that will run the power. And these are going to come down out of these. Um, oh, and I'm going to, I am going to have to go grab something here. Yet again, I forgot something. I will go ahead and run lines, though. Um, let us run these off in this direction. Um... We will run power between them going up right here. So power can go up right through there. Um, 
and right through here like so so power comes out along there yeah along here and these will be medium voltage lines so let me go up top now so these come up through here they pop up right there they come all along here like so and like so okay actually I'm gonna have to rework those bottom lines a little bit I just realized and I want to grab my painters when I'm back in my base too because I want to color code these lines um, but yes that will provide the power then the last step is going to be adding import buses and stuff for these export buses and import buses um, these need to have cells provided to them and wow those drained a lot of the water out of these tanks are these going up again now yeah these are starting to go up so these must have all filled up yep okay these all have 64 water my water tanks are filling back up um, all right uh, let us go grab my HV transformers. Um, actually, I need MV transformers, not HV transformers. Um, so let's go grab my MV transformers. I'm going to need f 10 of them. So I've got the wrong transformers in my inventory here. I can use them for something else, but... Oh, I didn't have the transformers in my inventory. Um, oh, no, I did craft up the right ones. Okay. I was remembering wrong, but I had done it right in the first place. Wait, did I need something else while I was in there? Um, uh, my painters. <laughs> oh, dear. And I just crashed? Yep, just crashed. Um, so I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. And I'm back. That was annoying, as the crashes always are. Um, I needed my painters. That's what I needed. So grab my red and my... no. Uh, the reds are going to be very short runs for now. I want my yellow and my blue. And some more yellow dye. And um, some more blue dye, which is lapis. So grab that stuff. Um, done with that for now. Done with that. Let me clear my inventory up a little bit here. Um, oh, that was kind of laggy. Um, done with those paved stone bricks for now. Okay, that should clear up most of my immediate inventory issues. Let's go do this. And my gravitation engine almost ran down. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. I'm back in a place where I have power for it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're now they're now reminding me about hitting record when I log in after a crash. Uh, you'd think I had a problem with it or something. Okay. So, let us get this power needs to be converted coming out of here. How do I want to do that? Let us, let's see, I need five MV transformers to handle the load from up there. So let's break this off a little bit. Um, maybe I should have brought my red painter with me. Oh well. Hmm. I guess I could just do a reverse flower underneath. That would work. Yeah, that that would work. Okay, so let's see. So, boom. That is awfully close. I have one block of clearance. Okay. No. No, I don't like that idea. Um, we will just do 
like this. Boom. Like so. Um, actually, let's do this. So I've got room for one, two, three, four, and then five on the end. Like so. Yeah. That I like. Um, why did that? There we go. That appears to have oriented properly. Yep, that oriented properly. Yep, that oriented properly. Good. Like so. Like so. And like so. Yep, just like that. Okay, there's my transformers for that side. And I went that way from the exit, so do this, bring that down one, and over one. And it's there, 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 uh, there, and there. There we go. That is the Transformers. So for these, these were 2048. Let's see, these are 32. So these are rows of, these are pair, sets of 16 that each need 128 EU per tick, right? Yeah. So let me see, let me pull up my calculator. So basically, 1,600, okay, that's four of these need to output over to there. So we will do this. That will come out, and then these will come out, and over like so. And into there. So that gives the output of four of those into that line. So that does exactly what I want. So like that, right? Yes, just like that. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to shift this a little bit. Do it there. Then over here. Boom, 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 boom. And over like so. And boom. Like that, yep, and then bring this and cut those out. There we go. Now these are medium voltage lines, so they get yellow. Like that. Gotta keep track of what's what so I can be a little safer. Oh, ran out. And more yellow, thank you. It's nice to have a color scheme on your cables like this, because that way you don't accidentally cross-connect something that shouldn't be. Uh, can I hit that one? There we go. Okay, so I'll color the other one in a minute. Just wanted to show you that. So that's the power input for those electrolyzers. Or, yeah, industrial electrolyzers up there. Um, these tanks are pretty much refilled. That's awesome. Lines of water are nice and full. Uh, and for the curious, oh dear, <laughs> user is messing around with me by dropping blackbirds into my base. <laughs> uh, so I'm getting the water from the Zycorium water blocks here. Um, I believe it should produce fast enough to not be an issue. I can always add more if I need to. So the next step is to start wiring up the ME system. I'm going to be providing these with cells from an ME, uh, come on, there we go, from an ME system, and they need cells fed in on top, um, and then I have to extract the cells from somewhere, and this might be an issue here, oh shoot, um, 
Hmm. That might be a problem. Dang it. I'll have to experiment. I don't think I can put two export buses in the same block like that. Or two import buses. <laughs> yes, user, I noticed. <laughs> um... Yeah, shoot. I didn't think about that. Um... Uh-oh, he ran into a zombie somewhere. Huh. Uh, I hope he's okay. Um, anyway, sorry about that beep. That was someone uh, messaging me on Facebook. Or commenting on a post on Facebook or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, what am I at? Oh, wow, I'm already at, like, I'm a lot further in than I thought I would be at this point. Oh, this may end up being two episodes of building. I did not expect that. Or maybe a really long episode. I don't know. Um, because I need to go off and figure out how I can do this better now, apparently. Maybe I could supply water to these ones through the center row there and then do... Yeah, I could do export buses underneath and water on the sides. Okay, I think that might be the solution. I just might need to shuffle my pipes and stuff around here a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that I think that should work. With that, um, I'm going to stop recording for now. There might be some more in this episode. I don't know right now. Um, if this is the end, uh, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll cut this if it's not the end. So thank you for thank you for watching, everyone. My name is Utoxin. This has been Utoxin plays Minecraft, and I will see you next time.